Hi there, it's Christy from Garden Nerd, and today I want to talk to you about dealing with aphids on your greens. Uh, toward the end of the season, or you know, in hot weather, you end up with aphids all over your kale, your chard, that kind of thing. And what they usually do is attack the center of the plant, because they love the baby deliciousness of small greens, or they, lay, they start manifesting on the underside of leaves, or if they're really brazen, right there on the top, which is just nasty. And so the first thing you should know is aphids show up when plants are weak. They sense weakness and they show up and they're piercing insects, so they, they pierce the leaf surface and they start sucking the juices out. So I have three tips that will help you battle aphids in your yard. Number one, worm castings. Worm castings are not only a fertilizer, but they are a pest control. So worm castings are high in a lot of nutrients. You put them down around your plant and they help boost the plant's vitality. But the pest control part is the thing that not too many people know about. Worm castings contain an enzyme called chitinase. And chitinase is, well, it just happens to be something that dissolves the exoskeletons of soft-bodied insects. So you put worm castings down on the plant, the plant takes it up when you water, and the bugs, when they start eating, they're actually taking in that chitinase, and then they're like, why am I falling apart? And they go away. So it works. Now, you can also import ladybugs and build a habitat to attract beneficial insects to your garden because there are lots of pests, lots of beneficial insects that attack aphids, like lacewings and ladybugs and surfid flies and parasitic wasps, which are my favorite because they poke holes inside of aphids and lay their young inside them. Yay! Anyway, so that's the first thing you can do. The second thing you can do is set your hose nozzle on kill because this is one way to get them off of your plants if there's a, you know, if you want to quickly reduce numbers. So what you do is set your hose nozzle on jet or stream, turn it way up, but not too high because you don't want to blast holes in your leaves, which happens, and stand back and hose things down. Now, if that's not enough, if they're still attacking everything, there's a third trick. And you can see in this photo, I've, uh, I have a charred patch that became completely infested with aphids. And so what I did was removed all the leaves except for three or four on each plant. Then you go in with this. And that reduces the population and their habitat, so they have to go somewhere else. So I wanna show you how it's done. All right, so you set your, set your hose on jet, mine leaks, but hey. And then you see this full of aphids right here. I'm gonna jet blast that, but not too hard because you can break the leaves. You can see I broke one here. And then check the undersides. There's a whole bunch here. Oh God, it's so cold. The water is icy cold. And jet blast these guys off. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And if you can figure out how to do this without getting completely soaked, let me know. For more information on keeping bugs out of your garden and growing your own greens and all kinds of other stuff, visit GardenNerd.com. And if you like this video, share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that you can find out when our next video comes online. And if you really want to support us, become a Patreon subscriber so we can make more videos for you. Happy gardening!